This is Josiah Plays Regalia of Men and Monarchs. What abyss are you talking about? This this is this this isn't an abyss, it's just it's just the area blocked off by the walls. Well no, I know that all Poles are not basically one family, but I'm saying these are Polish game developers. Polish RPG developers. And, and that's not a ridiculous thing to think, by the way, because when you look at Western RPGs made in the United States, a lot of them do have very similar sounding music. And when you look at Japanese RPGs made in Japan, they all sort of have similar sounding music most of the time. So you would think that Polish RPGs would also have similar sounding music to each other, but no. Started out good, but went very bad. Not a good day today. What's wrong? Hey, what's, how you doing, Brad? Well, obviously you're not doing well because you said it went very bad. What, 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 what happened? What happened? Check out the diplomatic missives. One of your dogs dislocated one of his legs? Oh, that sucks. No missives received yet. Alright. No diplomacy for us. Yet. Do I want to build something? From this screen, you can order construction of different buildings around the town. Constructor upgrade an already existing building. Click on the hammer icon. Each building comes with individual construction costs. Not every building can be constructed right off the bat. For the option to become available, you need to find a corresponding dweller first. For example, constructing a smithy will require the presence of a blacksmith. Each construction effort consumes one in-game day. Got it. Click on the hammers to build or upgrade your buildings. So those are all locked. I don't have enough to build to upgrade that, but I could build the merchant house. I don't think I will just yet, though. It's at the vet. I had to go to a 24-7 vet, and those were so much. Hopefully they let us on the pet plan. Is that, like, something where you can save money? Man... Fake MMO even has a garrison. You talking about like from the garrisons from WoW? I didn't mind the garrison thing in WoW. I thought it was kind of cool. What happens if I rest? Does it waste a day? Because if it wastes a day, I'm about to be pissed. Look, it even says tutorial on all these. Why do I have so many tutorial saves? Fuck it. Oh, you can rest. Why would I want to waste the time of advancing a... F no. We won't be doing that. We have no we've know there's nothing down in the armory. Oh, we're going to discover stuff about... Oh, wow. Who are all these people? These are our relatives. Captain Toval Lauren... Zibes Lauren? Zibes? Got a cat? Rick Lauren, he looks dodgy as fuck. Look at that guy. That guy's sinister. A roguish opportunist who managed to be in the right place at the right time. The man recorded in history as Rick Lauren. Managed to save the house from a succession crisis by marrying the sole remaining heiress. The lasting testament to the glibness of his tongue lies in the fact that Naria Chronicle holds reliable records about that heiress. A circumstance that, quite tellingly, eluded Rick himself completely. Glenn the Jinx Lauren. Oh, he looks like this sort of slacker or useless family member. Like my character is. Hopefully you can pay it in payments. Like, I don't even know how much it costs to go to a veterinarian, or, you know, how much how much they charge for stuff. Yeah, I hope your dog is okay, though. 
Up your dog. It doesn't have a broken leg or anything and can just kind of recover quickly. Glenn the Jinx Lauren. Things always went the slightest bit wrong whenever Glenn was around. He was kind, honest, and a slight bit awkward. He had a wedding in town. If Glenn was there, you could easily bet that the bride would fall and rip her dress. If there was an archery competition. A bowstring would likely break at an inopportune time, sending an arrow into the crowd. To me, it just looks like it came out of the socket. How did that even happen? Right at the ankle. Ow. If an artifact was to be recovered, it wouldn't be improbable for the item to fall out of Glenn's bag into a nearby pit or river, causing more than an extra few hours of work tracking it down, if at all. So this guy, this guy is a troublemaker. One of those sort of idiots that just screws everything up, so it sounds like me in real life. One of the cats jumped on him, he rolled off the bed, fell on his leg. Oh, shit. Fucking cats! Always fucking shit up. That's why you shouldn't have cats. You should only have dogs. Lauren Lauren. Carl, Francois. Lauren Lauren. What has she got there? A bunch of groceries? Lauren Wilcox of Escalia was a dairy farmer in Ban Macare. Rough, hardworking, and a successful businessman. Oh, we're going to Ban Macare, so maybe we'll find out some more stuff. About relatives that lived there. Gamij Lauren. Look at this guy. He's got a bow. And a bunch of books and scrolls and shit. He looks pretty tough. Only six months old and it's a chihuahua? Oh god. I wouldn't even think chihuahuas would weigh enough. To be able to hurt themselves by falling because uh, they have such little little mass that meme portrait jesus i don't know what you're talking about what meme portrait i'm not sure why this says cadet branch and then you've got oh a main branch so these are like the probably the main like actual heirs to the throne main like important members of the family and these are all the fucking reject degenerate idiot people of the family let's read about Gamij Lauren the third one Gamij Lauren was born the second son of Duke Ilson Lauren and was thus not in line to inherit the throne since his father had no real expectations for him, he was allowed to explore his own interests, and explore he did, venturing equally into sagely tomes and elegant archery, the latter of which would come to use in his self-imposed mercenary career. In a twist of fate, however, that he would find himself outliving his brother, who tragically lost his life during a skirmish. Gamish had no other choice but to return to the kingdom, bringing many of his mercenary friends along to act as his royal guard. He ruled his domain well, and in his later years was known as much for his scholarship as he was known for his skill with a bow. So he's not like a total idiot like the other guys. Or a dodgy character like that one guy. Tiny dogs have tiny bones. That does make sense. Yeah. Do you Google do crow sometime? I don't know what that is. I don't know if I want to Google it. You would probably have me Google some fucked up shit. Only needs 15 pounds of pressure to break a bone in a human. It's probably less for an animal. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully he's all right. Lauren, Lauren. The profound exercise in what happens when parents get tired of naming their children. Other than his unusual name and a couple of weird mentions in the Chronicles, much about him appears to be lost to the fog of the ages. So they they named a girl Lauren, Lauren, and they named a boy just straight up spelled exactly like the last name. He does look like a fucking derp face, though. 
Sawin Lauren or Sawin Lauren. Some want to be the man. Others, like Sawin did, aspire to be the man behind the man. Despite being plagued by illness throughout much of his adult life, he insisted on remaining strong, if not pompous, even in the direst of circumstances. It was said that his battles were never fought, merely won. And even today, his reputation as a master commander and cunning strategist lives on. He looks a little smug. Spencer Tasol Lauren. This guy looks cool. Magically inclined and proficient in various forms of alchemy, Tasol was a noble spirit who put the good of the fellow man above the trappings of fame and recognition. Indeed, it is speculated that he managed to keep the knowledge of his exploits even from the fellow members of his royal family. Quite likely, this is why much of his life story remains unknown today. So these are these are some of our relatives, apparently. Only one is a woman. All right. Well, we've looked at that. Let's, um, we leave the town by clicking on a globe inside of our castle. As one does, you know. Yeah, dislocation is definitely way less bad than a break, so hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully so, man. Poor dog. I don't like it when bad things happen to dogs. Cats? Fuck them. But dogs are our friends. They, there's a reason they call dogs man's best friend. Because out of every species of animal on this planet, the one that is the most friendly to humans is the dog. Maybe horses, but I think dogs have more of a bond with humans than even horses. Alright, what's up, Griffith? Hello, young master. If I may, young master, I'd like to talk about your combat technique. But I'd like to spend the day with Griffith. Oh. Not really. Not yet. And before I start spending days with motherfuckers, We need to, you know... Who else could I spend today with? Any of the ones at the inn, or the fucking merchant, or Griffith. Get out of here. Mm. Let's see what's going on at the end. Although I don't think I'm quite... Oh, see, they have the things over their heads when they're ready for you to spend the day with them or whatever. Eh, what do you mean? You came to talk. No, I don't want to spend a day with him. What can I get you? Howdy, you here to eat, Mr. Lauren? As I'm looking, no, not, not yet. Okay. So basically, if you're not willing to spend a whole day with these people, they don't have shit to say to you. Now what's she up to? Oh, joy. Well, there's no place but up from now. You want to know what I think? 
Let's keep building. We need to become self-sufficient as soon as possible. Any suggestions in particular? Well, I expect there'll be plenty of fighting ahead. A blacksmith seems like a good start, don't you think? What is loading right now? Why did it take me back out to the... That's weird. We exploit dogs' packed instincts to trust us. Well, I mean, I don't know about exploit exactly. For the most part, yeah, some people are dicks to dogs, but for the most part, a lot of dogs are getting a fucking easy-ass life. A free ride. They don't do shit, actually. And most dogs end up doing nothing of value, really, for humans, and humans provide them with shelter and food for free. So, I mean, dogs have it pretty fucking good. It's more like they're exploiting us. No. Although dogs are, I think dogs are actually loyal. Whereas cats, though, cats are fucking assholes. Cats really are exploiting us. Cats, you know cats are laughing their ass off at humans. Like, look at these morons that give us all this stuff and take care of us, and we are truly useless to them. A dog could be useful to a human being. A cat's never useful. I know things started off rough, but please don't give up. I have a good feeling about this. Ideas on how we should proceed? That's great! Hmm. We managed to tidy up the place a bit, so maybe it's time to invite some people? Having Baz and Loka reminded me how nice it is to have neighbors again. Let's get some more, okay? Working on it. Alright, what about you, buddy? With your big-ass turtle. Hello, esteemed customer. Don't be shy. I'm open for the business. See, I can sh- Oh, I see. That's why I have to build the thing. He's open for business as a shop, but... I can't, um... spend the day with him unless I build him- unless I build him his little shop. Well... Chihuahua are basically cats, though. Cats are basically fungus, just absorbing resources. Yeah, I don't like tiny dogs. I mean, I don't hate them, but I'm not a big fan of tiny dogs. I like a dog that's Maybe not huge, but it's at least big enough that it could kind of fuck somebody up if it if it had to. Alright, what do I want to do with my day? I only have 51 days left. Sounds like a lot, but... What do I want to do? Well, let's personal bond with Griffith. Hello, young master. Yeah, let's spend time. Splendid. Excellent. Let us proceed. It's been some time since you participated in prolonged combat, young master. Here, let us spar. Okay, I'm ready. Ha! Splendid. Good form. But there's always room for improvement, is there not? Well... Well, you do know your basics, that much is certain.
You're clearly better. Ha! Ah, generous assumption, but untrue. Learn to give yourself proper credit, Master K. Now, strike again. Uh, strike from the left. Well done. Continue. Continue. Um, that was it, huh? That took a whole day. Personal bond has grown stronger. New rewards have been unlocked. Oh, we're an acquaintance now. I've got the this morph for him now. No longer applies sundered. Cannot miss or be dodged. Hmm. I would say that is a pretty good one. How do I pick it? Oh, I have to unpick Brawler first. Yeah, that's pretty good. I have to spend time with her to improve that one. Griffith's an acquaintance already, so that's great. But I wasted a day. Now what about this day? I can personal bond with him again? Let's see what happens. I wonder if there's some kind of cap to how many times you can bond with somebody before, you know, you have to go do some other shit. I must say, our last training session proved fruitful. Shall we continue? Sure, why not? Ah, excellent. Practice it is, then. This seems like an appropriate and responsible place to practice swordplay. <clears throat> While we're uh, sparring here, I'm just gonna fire a gun at you. <laughs> That's it though, huh? There wasn't even a conversation that time. How did that, how did that get me? 40, holy shit. You gotta spend a lot of days with these motherfuckers. And yet, you get good stuff. Animu emojis, dear gods. I just like to pretend those aren't there. I choose not to see them. Alright, now I can go talk to Signy at the pier. The duckling approaches. Yep. Just so. So we will. A lot of loading screens, but they're short. Hey, I, I trust nothing's bothering you. You've been hanging out here a lot. I hope you had no problems adjusting to town life. These settlements of stone and wood are confusing. These town rights remain unfamiliar to me, much as your kin is not my kin. But they're strong people, 
both in strike and spirit. Duckling keeps good company. The trails of wood and cobble I mesh with less. There are smells and colors that confuse me. I do not always wish to confront them. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those smells and colors in town. But this, this brings warmth. It mirrors familiar sights, and for that I am grateful. It's just a landscape. So the pier reminds you of home. Yes. No. Not quite? Comfort is good, but it dulls senses. The lands of my ancestors smolder with fury. But fury alone is pointless, yes? Tranquility is welcome, as long as one does not grow dull. Hmm. Oh, right. I've been meaning to ask. There's also that one matter. Your totem, was it? How goes the search for your beast? As I recall, that it was very important to you and your tribe. <sighs> She's not amused by this topic. Not too well, I take it. No, and I hold no answers why. A Kaura is supposed to find their own meaning. Communion, confrontation, cooperation. Three paths to walk in search of a totem. Nothing else is known. Journey, to hunt, to experience. Those are our tools. Our hands, our eyes, our senses. All but needles to pierce the darkness. We exchanged our oaths once, yes? You will help me? You seem desperate. I can't help you if you can't help yourself. I gave my word. Oh, I think she liked that. A rare kindness. A stance worthy of respect, and I shall repay in kind. The wind sings of a journey. The water hums a calling. The land dances, full of life and motion. What? The ancestors are with us! Portents are there. I will find my beast, this I swear. Good luck with that. I'll help any way that I can. Probably will involve killing some things in turn-based combat. Now we're back on Trolls Day. Personal bond has gone up, so now we're an acquaintance. She's got instinctive motions. Pounce no longer requires the landing spot to be within Signy's line of sight. That is really good, so we're going to take that. But before we can, we have to get rid of those. Because it takes two. Yeah, that's, pr that's quite good. Now it's Trolls Day. We could do more bonding with Griffith. We could go bond with these people. Or we could just go... Do an adventure. So I think we're going to go do an adventure. Right quick. We'll do more bonding with people when we come back. So I have to go in here. I'm not going to build that thing yet because honestly I'd rather save my materials for a smithy when we get this blacksmith guy. Or maybe upgrading the town square. Of course, I don't really need to do that yet. Pathfinder's study. Have to have Miri. What do I get for upgrading the... Okay. 
So the only thing really that I could even build that I'd care about at all right now is the merchant house. All right, let's try unlocking this and see what we get. Structure complete. So that took a day. The merchant house is done now. Can't upgrade it yet. Smithy into plus one infantry upgrade is a solid opening. What? Now we'll go visit the merchant house real quick. Interesting looking little place. Back soon. Come in, come in. Up in for business. I don't want to spend time with him right now. Should I buy an invigorating file? I think so. You can only buy one. Alright, so how are we doing on health? He has 788, but he's trying to avoid getting hit. He has 993 and she has 762, so let's give her that trinket. That puts her up to 862. She's good. He has 993. Your Warcraft experience started from the EverQuest ripoff. No, I played I played Warcraft three and Warcraft two. I never played Warcraft one. All right, let's go on an adventure. Well, maybe we'll just talk to her. <laughs> Debt collector dude's gonna come back and he's gonna be like, What have you accomplished while I was gone? <laughs> and I'm like, Well, I met a barbarian girl in the woods and I spent all my time talking to her. <laughs> you have a lot of DLCs, must have bought the Game of the Year edition. Yeah, I have I have almost as many DLCs as a Paradox game. Speak and I shall listen. I hear you, yes. Are we off to look for the beast then? Well, we're off to do something. Yeah, let's spend the day. Greatness! Good, good. Oh, we're actually going somewhere. Holy shit. I decided to spend the day with Signy. And I'm now exhausted. Can't keep up with her. Drone's day. But that didn't get us a new... A new level. Oh! We are ready to level up. We just have to talk to her one more time. Oh, Savage Wind is good. But I don't have enough perk slots to really take advantage of all this. Again, the perk slot every time your party levels up. There's 20 perk slots, so I wonder if the level cap is 20 then. 
Doubt the debt collector will accept your relationships as payment. Yeah. Probably right. Let's go, let's go do a dungeon. Care is where we're going. It takes a day to travel there, six days to explore, and a day to travel back, I guess. This is gonna eat up eight days for this little adventure. Days to explore, six. Ooh, look at all this. So that's a little adventure. That those are fights. That's a little adventure, and that's the camp. I don't know if you can only use each camp once, or how that works exactly, or if you can go back to the camp. Oh, and this is an adventure thing too. So there's a lot going on in this place. Across and yonder, a pastoral adventure in the land of cows and old men. Oh, Nox, you still here? We got cows. We got cows. Cross and yonder. Treading the slopes of the expanse, you bump into two lone huts overseeing a cliff. Farm animals graze in peace, cows, on a nearby pasture, looking around infrequently with fleeting curiosity. Two elderly gentlemen are seated by a small table in the yard, but the distance makes you unable to say what exactly they're doing. <laughs> playing dominoes. They're playing Gwent. I can approach the animals instead of the men? I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Cows! Oh, Nox is missing out. I don't think he's here. He's missing out on cow-related activities. To approach the animals. The livestock on the pasture seems to be composed primarily of cows. There doesn't seem to be anything worth your attention here. I don't know, I haven't played that Renowned Explorers, but somebody brought it up earlier. We're going to intensify our investigation of cows. They look like cows, sound like cows, and smell like cows. Though you're not 100% sure, there's a chance they may be just that. Cows. Alright, I'm not going to poke them with a stick. Let's go see the man. If it wasn't for the tangible sense of contest, you'd call them grandfatherly. Their rugged looks and tense faces only contribute further to that aura of uneasiness. The two gentlemen appear to be too busy to notice your presence, or they simply do not care, lost in their focus on what appears to be some sort of antiquated game board. I'll quietly grab a chair and observe. The game seems simple enough to understand after a handful of turns. 24 black pieces against 13 white pieces, locked in battle to death. Despite this inherent asymmetry, it doesn't strike you as one-sided. Among the white pieces, one appears considerably larger and more ornate. A commander unit of some sort? Appropriately, it never lingers in one place for long, constantly evading the aggressions of black. Slowly, the goal of the game becomes clear. The white commander has to flee the board while black pieces have to capture said commander. As you've never played yourself, you have no idea how to gauge the skill of these two gentlemen. At the very least, they appear evenly matched. Let's ask him what they're playing. 
both stare at you blankly. Whether it's because you dared to interrupt or because they've just noticed you, you're not sure. Dwarves and elves! At least that's what they call it round here. Why? And who are you? Honestly, immediately the other player chimes in. Actually, that's a pretty good question. Who the heck are you? I'm the long-lost rightful heir to this great kingdom. Come to deliver you from ruin after centuries of absence. That's nice. Now shush! We're playing a game here! Oh, okay. The game continues. A couple of bold maneuvers later, you begin to spot patterns in Black's strategy, and you can clearly see his movements in turns to come. White's commander piece is walking into a trap. It's a trap! The upcoming turn will irreversibly decide the victor. Oddly enough, White doesn't seem to realize this. <laughs> Go all out and point out all obvious and or imagined tactical flaws ruining the fun for everyone. Why do I feel like this is what Saito would do? <laughs> I don't know why I would interfere with this, though. It's kind of a dick move, honestly. So, no, I'm not going to intervene. Black deserves to win. Stay completely silent. Move after move, White steadily wraps his commander in peril. When he finally realizes that he's been tricked, it's far too late. Defeat is but a turn away now. Oh, this, they're going to throw this out back on They're going to twist this, and he's going to win anyway, and I'm going to realize I was an idiot. The Black chuckles heartily, reveling in the proverbial tears of his opponent. The game is in the bag. Oh, guess there isn't that kind of... Ooh, I got a thingy. Later, after the game, Black chats you up, clearly uplifted by his victory. Ha! Ah, Melov's good, but he completely dropped the ball on that one. He chuckles. <laughs> but you noticed my rose, didn't you? Well then, thanks for not spoiling the fun. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for 50 XP and 50 DLCs and a black horse piece. The game piece turned into a token of gratitude. Get a little physical penetration. Alright, well that's that's been accomplished. Cross and yonder completed. Uh let's see. I think physical penetration is the kind of thing. But I want her to have. So, boom. Because her stuff is physical, right? Physical. Thunder. Oh, really? So, Massacre and Pounce do physical. That does physical. That does ice, weirdly enough. Yeah, I think we'll still put it on her. Okay. Now we can move to the next one where it looks like we're going to have to fight some shit. Sleepy Croplands. The unglamorous gateway to the lands of wheat and hay. Mind the rats. Oh boy, more rats. Survive for eight turns. Wait, all I have to do is survive? Deployed player combatants must supply survive. Win the battle in five turns. So if I can kill them all in five turns, I get the extra challenge XP. Oh, oh, this looks rough. This looks like that's a lot of dudes. Amount of dudes high. Cash, the bandit mugger. Look at all the abilities he has. What? Steals your money! It will be refunded on user's death. User will attempt to flee the battle if not defeated in time. Fuck! Flees from battle. Well, that's some dick move. Stance to stun. 
Steal 10% of your total money up to a maximum of three times is refunded when you defeat the mugger. That is not fucking okay. Especially since Lucian, especially since there's more than one. Then there's some bandit brutes, there's Garrett. Slow weaken or sunder randomly. Summons a random combatant in two turns unless the user is defeated. Damn, this looks like a hard fucking fight. It said this place was easy. Rogal, another bandit brute. Robin, another bandit brute. Cobb, another bandit brute. So there's four brutes, two muggers, and then there's this fucking bird right here. Ashtaria, Tataka. The swoop blinds you. <clears throat> Can revenge. Can shriek to silence everybody. Cannot act, may move as normal. Wow. That thing's a problem. Extra move, okay. We're about to get wrecked. We're about to get wrecked. All right. I can put somebody right there. Well. The answer lies in the heart of battle. Oh, fuck that fucking bird. We move now, yes? It only has 388 health, so maybe we can put some ass kickery on it. God, I missed. What was I doing? I, I pounced to the wrong place. No. I'll be able to return to this battle and try it again at any time. I forfeit. I can't have that miss in the beginning. I can't have it. Right, let's try this shit again. Only nobility can afford firearms. Yeah, I would imagine they're very expensive. On the prowl. Hey, the bird didn't come all the way over here this time. It's weird. Well, look, if y'all ain't, we'll just take our time with this. I'm most concerned about these ass Timothy. Look at him. Oh, do they have different names this time? Sawyer, Albert, Timothy. They do have different names. Mo, Garrett. And Lucian. Garrett and Lucian were there before. The time is now. The time is now! We're just gonna chill and let them come to us. You wanna see name of old Swaggin? Yeah. Fight the power, it says, while you play the king roughing up desperate have-nots. Well, it's not like we attack them. I need scissors. 61. What is that a reference to? 
Don't do it. Don't do it! So now he can't even act. And then he flies away? What a dick move. All right. You know what? Fuck it. We'll stand right here. While oh, these guys slowly approach. I ain't going for that five rounds thing. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm just trying to survive. This is considered a dick move in bird culture. Yeah. You're, you ain't wrong. And we're, we're saving up authority points. At your side. He's silenced, he can't do anything. Look at that giant ass log that yeah. guy is carrying. The brave do not fear the grave. Don't you do it. Yes! Good dodge! And then the bird flies the yes, fuck away. Yes. That, that bird is gonna piss me clean the fuck off. We're just gonna save up authority points so we can fucking massively alpha strike once they get up on us. Uh-oh. Here comes one of the ones that steals from you. No! Oh, oh he didn't mug, and I dodged again. Here we Very go! Nice. Alright, let's, um... I'm just gonna keep commanding. Actually, you own it. We need to kill this guy. How is there not line of sight? Through my allies? I can't even shoot through my own allies, really? Hey, what if I move here? Now can I shoot him? Seriously? Okay, what if I move here? Now can I shoot him? Actually, can I? I can't rend because he can't attack diagonal with melee. There you go. There we go. Battle tide. That's why you employ dwarven frontliners. That would be good. Let us strike. All right, Timothy the Mugger has 389 health left. I could just ace him with finishing touch, but I probably don't need to. For honor. Down to 199. I'll let Signy finish him off. Wait, when does she get to go? All these fuckers are gonna go next. Can any of them get to us in time? That shows where they can move. So no, none of them can get to us. So I don't really care what they do on their turn. That's enough, Griffith. <laughs> That'll do, Griffith. That'll do. Yeah, gather up, guys. We've got a lot of AoE we're ready to use on y'all. Gather up. I hate that bird. Oh, I got him. On the prowl. I thought K had shields. I didn't give K any shields. Okay. Alright, we need to kill fucking Timothy right the fuck now. I could do Massacre. It would hit so many people, though.
dodged. Oh. Ah, sneaky morsel. Fuck. What's gonna happen next? He's gonna go next. I don't want him to get a turn. I'm gonna Ancestors, blitz. hear me roar! I could whirlwind. I think it would hit him too, though. All targets in range. I think that would include Griffith. She can't even do enough damage with that. To kill him. I thought she was going to be doing more damage. Actually, I could move her forward a square. And now Whirlwind. Yes! Fresh now kill. we're talking. I have so many... I kind of want to... These guys are all going to be coming in now. She's going to move back to here. Leave this to me. All right, I'm gonna give him massive shields. Wait, I thought I thought Griffith took a bunch of damage. Hold on, or was it me that took all that damage? It doesn't there we go 624 out of 788 it, it was me that took that damage all right let's um get back here to safety ish and then throw a command Yeah, it was K. I, for some reason, I thought it was Griffith that took that damage, but I was wrong. Let us strike. All right, now let's kick some ass. Albert, the bandit mugger. I need to dynamic entry his ass. Poor choice of words. <laughs> I should not be doing any entry into his ass, but... Onwards! Alright, good hit, good hit. Now let's fucking blitz Push up. Back. Press and strike. For great justice! Good hit, good hit. This guy's got 113 health left. I could blitz again and finish him, which I think I want to do, because I don't want to give these guys any chance to mug me and take my fucking money. Push them back! That is my number one concern here. Okay. We are not done yet. Cool. And now that he's done that, he can move back into a more defensive position. <laughs> I like the way the combat works in this a lot. Get you! Yeah, you missed. Yeah. Took off some shields. Heaven or hell? The fucking bird. No. On the prowl. Bird is a straight pain in the ass. Now let's see. I want to figure out some AOE. Oh, if I could. Can I leap to right there? Because that's a beautiful spot. There we go. Putting some damage on some fools. Let's finish this bird off. I'm gonna blitz. Ancestors! 
Hear me roar! Oh, I missed! I could blitz again. Ancestors, hear me roar! There we go. What? It didn't kill him? He has 12 health left? Oh, okay. I could finish him off with him. I need to move though. Right at you. Fuck you, bird. That went better than expected. Uh oh. It's gonna hurt. Oh no, he can't attack that. I'm gonna deck you in the schnoz! <laughs> I'm gonna deck you in the schnoz! You're gonna do what? Come help me, you idiots! Yeah. Come help me, you idiots! At your side. Silence, you can't do anything, that's fine. The road of excess leads to the Palace of Wisdom. Here we go! I've only got one. Authority point, so I can't use my cool, cool power. Let's just throw some command on. She's got seven. Yeah, she needs more. Let's Strike go. now! And then I'm gonna move back over here. The time is now. He's gonna deck me in the schnoz, right? All right, now Griffith, what are you gonna do? I have one command point. I don't think I'm gonna bother to challenge anybody. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, I could finish this guy off. Then again, though, she can hit all three of them. So I might as well hit this guy. Have it! Oh, but they all get to go before her. Maybe I should have finished them off. If I blitz, I can probably kill that guy. Do not falter! No quarter! Okay, good. I think we're in good shape here. I'll get you! Yeah, you missed. Yeah, yeah you I'll missed. Get you. Okay, you, you didn't. <laughs> All right, we're doing fine. We move now, yes? Let's see. Griffith has barely any health left. Kay's got lost quite a bit. How come I can't? Oh, because it's her turn. She has 862. Okay. So what I'm going to do is move her here, so that I can pounce into here. There we go. Fresh kill. I wish I had a authority point. I would blitz right now and have her do her whirlwind, but I don't. Reinforcements! They just called a mugger! Fuck. Reinforcements is some bullshit. Alright, let's whirlwind these dudes. Oh, that was power. Right. That guy's almost dead. The mugger goes next. And then, alright, these two can finish this guy off, so I'm just gonna have her move all the way over here. Don't you do it! Do not even do it! Okay, that's fine. Ow, oh, Kay's getting wrecked. Leave this to me! Kay needs to bounce.
He can't command himself, unfortunately. I don't know if he can use pull yourself together on himself. Probably not. Strike now! Hey, welcome back, son. How you doing? Yeah, I'm still going. I am. At your side. All right. This guy's got 534. If I had one more command point, I could fucking put it on him. Did I blind him? I think I'm gonna blind him. Reduce his chance of being able to mug me. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to finish this guy off. Damn it. Oh well. <laughs> Miss. Come help me, you idiots! Oh, he just called another reinforcement. On the prowl. Oh, we won! Because I, all I had to do was survive for eight rounds. Cool. And we got some loot, and we got some money, and glimmer, and gemstones, and components. A lot of components. You just slept a lot? Well, that's good. Are you feeling less, uh, hungover? Got some hunting gauntlets. Remember, you kill it, you buy- oh, those are nice. Oh, those are oh, those are a weapon for Signy. I see. Node cleared. Okay. Um. Five percent damage. Placed with four accuracy and five damage. Not bad. All right, cool. Feeling a lot better. That's good to hear. See, I think, I think, but I don't know. I think that as soon as you get out of a combat, you automatically go back up to full health. But I don't know if if I'm wrong, and you might have to rest to go back to full health. So now I can go to the camp. Or it's this little adventure right down here. I'm going to go to this little adventure right down here. But that is going to have to be in our next episode. If you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere because I am not done playing. If, on the other hand, you are watching on YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Regalia of Men and Monarchs and Beast Girls and Cows. <laughs>